Hello guys, today we are going to learn the five properties of multiplication. So let us start with number one, that is commutative property. Commutative property is the order of the factors does not change the product. Example. Three balls per column, one, two, three. This is the three balls per column. Four columns, right here, this is the four columns. One, two, three, four. Four balls per column is here. One, two, three, four. Three columns is three times uh, three columns is one, two, three. So here at example number one, that you're going to multiply four times three is 12 and three. And the other side is 3 times 4 is to 12. Or you can put them equal here. It is still the same. The answer is still 12. 12 and 12. As the illustration show, there are 12 balls, regardless of how these are arranged. Thus, 4 times 3 is equal times 4 is still equal to 12. So, please remember the, the like this over here, like my column, it is, it is called commutative property. It does not change the product. Let's go to number 2. Number two is associative property. The grouping of the factors does not change the product. What am I saying? Okay, so example number one. To multiply two, three, and four, you may choose to multiply two and three first or four. I need to take off this because there are too much three. Okay. Three first or four first. Either way, the product is the same. This shows the associated property of multiplication. It is also called grouping property of multiplication. So let's go here in example number one. Two times three, where do we get the two times three? Of course, we count here. So they get two times three. It can be three times two. Times four, where do we get the four? Of course, we count this one, two, three, four. Where do we get the six? Of course, we will multiply this now. So this is equal to six times four. Four right here, you need to copy the four, even this, this is equal to 24. All right, let's go here at example number. Three times four, of course, where do we get the three times four is right here, count here, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. It can be four times three times two. Don't forget the parentheses. All right. So 12 times two, where do we get the 12 times two? Of course, we multiply this. And this, you need to copy this. The most important to copy. Is equal to 24. So, please remember the solution like this that you have to count it to some questions like that or symbols. That is called associated property. The grouping of factors does not change the product. Okay, let me. Oops, I'm, not, right. I'm going to find the. I'm going to find the number three. All right. Are you see? All right, let's screen share. Distributive, distribu distributive property of multiplication over addition. When two numbers are added and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same as when each number is multiplied by the factor. 
store products are added. Example. Hannah has three chocolate bars and four lollipops. So this is one, two, three chocolate bars and one, two, three, four lollipops. So three plus four is equal to seven. You can copy it right here straight. She doubles the number of chocolate bars and lollipops that she has. She gets four to sweet five. We're, all right, we're going to, um, so one, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, one, two, three, plus one, two, three, four. Where do we get the two? Of course, we got this one and two times three, three plus four. Please remember like this of the solution that is called distributive property of multiplication over addition. So let's go, let's find that. All right, let me stop share again and go back to you. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, number four. All right, let me screen set now. All right, here. Let's find out. Double the number of chocolate bars. Like that one. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Double the lollipops. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Because you count this and you count over here. That's why they got 2 times 4. Oh wait, this is, um, this is 8. Okay. Then combine. 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4 course you add the 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. So the result is the same. Hannah still gets 14 sweets. This shows the distributive property of multiplication over addition. You can do, do like this um but it's long term uh long term all right in multiplying the sum of two numbers by a third number you might add the first numbers before multiplying by by the third number or you may multiply each atom first by the third number then other products either way the result will be the same all right let's go oh you need to remember that is distributive um, um, all right, so you need to remember that that's in a solution. This that is called distributive property of multiplication over addition. All right, let's go to number five. Okay. Let's screen share again and move it. All right. Zero property. Zero times any number is zero. Yes, so like a million times zero is equal to zero. One hundred times zero is equal to zero. One hundred times zero is equal to zero. So, example. 4 times 0 is 0, 0 times 25 is 0, 48 times 0 is equal to 0. So please remember, 0 times any number is 0, it is 0 property. So we're in circle. Uh, all right, so, all right, identity property. 1 times any number is the number itself. Example. Example. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 1 times 6 is 36. Like 1,000. 1, 1,000 times 1 is equal to 1,000. 1 is called multiplicative identity. Now, 
Alright. Now please remember, one times any number is the number itself. It is called identity. So that is for the video now, or that is all for today. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have learned a lot from me. And that is uh, uh, that is again that's all for today again. So I hope you learned a lot from me and bye. See you in the next video.